Okay, in this video I'm just going to identify some common syntax or fundamental syntax that's important to know whenever you're writing in the P5JS language. So first and foremost, with any script programming language, spelling matters. If you spell something wrong, the computer is not going to know what it means. So for example, if I type function spelled correctly, it's blue. If I were to type function with an M on the end, it's green. And it's supposed to be blue, so we know that it does not know what function means. So it's always important that you spell things correctly. Uh, the other thing that's important is identifying the difference between various um, ways that things should be written. So we have things called functions, we have commands, and we're going to learn those as you go. And each one has its own special type of syntax. So for example, your typical command usually is the word that the command is. So if we want to draw uh, an ellipse, it's just ellipse like that, parenthesis, and then the parameters. And the parameter for an ellipse is the x position, so I'm going to put x position, y position, width, height. And you'll find that this is the common parameters for basic drawing commands. So if we were doing a rectangle or a triangle, it's all very similar. Um, instead of the x position, y position, I could put a number to represent the x position and the y position. And I could put the width and the height also as a number. And that's all measured in pixels. It's also good practice to put semicolons at the end of each line. Uh, to break up your command. So if I want to do a rectangle um, and again put another set of param parameters here, something like this, this semicolon signifies that you are breaking your line. In the P5JS language, semicolons actually are not required unlike other JavaScript based languages, but again it's good practice to put your semicolons to break your lines here from one to the other. Uh, other commands have different types of syntaxes. So for example, functions, so like function setup, uh, has two parentheses with nothing inside and then a bracket to open it. And then somewhere below a close bracket. All the code for setup would go inside this area. So if I wanted these commands to be inside setup, I would put them somewhere like this, in, be in between this bracket and this bracket. So this is the open bracket for setup, this is the close bracket for setup comments are very powerful. So if you want to put a comment in your program, it's double slash. So two slashes, then I can comment something like this is open setup here, and I can put a comment close setup here. So notice how it's grayed out. This means that it has no value for the actual code itself. It's not even there. It's just for you to help navigate through your program, and the more comments, the better. It's usually easier to understand your programming language. Um, it's also important to identify that typically indentation means that something's below something else. So if I were to indent these, that kind of shows you again that uh, ellipse and rectangle is part of function. They're indented inside. Again, that's just good practice for syntax. And then lastly, it's important to identify that multiple word commands, um, like for example, the create canvas command is not written like this, two words um, with like something like 500, 500. That is incorrect. Whenever you want to do two words in P5JS, it's always actually written as one word with a capital letter for the second word. So create canvas would actually be written like this. No space, capital letter for the second word to signify this is a two word command that's actually written as one word. Uh, so that's another important keynote. We'll get through uh, more syntax and more parameters and things as we identify more functions. Those are just the basic fundamentals of the language. It's important to know.